Howdy folks, today we'll be taking a look at this Airfix 135 scale Jag Panther 38 Hetzer, early version. Um, the tape wasn't known as the Hetzer, uh, Hetzer name come into it a little bit later, um, the Germans named it something else. Um, it's quite a hard name to pronounce, it's the Allies that gave it the Hetzer name and something, something to do with the gods or something, but I'm not quite sure. But anyway, this kit is actually a Academy kit originally, so it's a reboxing by FX according to scale mates, which I use for the history of kits. Um, the link will be down in the description for the uh, website for scale mates. So what you do is go in there, type in the kit, and it tells you the history of how the kits progress progressed. So like I say, this is a reboxing by uh, Academy originally. Um, Academy kit, it was pretty good, so this is going to be just as good anyway. Um, it's a typical of Airfix, top opening box. You are greeted by plastic. And one, two, three, four bags. You can tell it's not originally Airfix because Airfix don't do their bags like this. They just chuck everything in one bag. You do get a little bit of tiny fellow extra for the grills. Your worksheet. And some decals. So we'll quickly look at these instructions and then we look at the sprues. The grid with the same colour box art. A little bit of history on the uh, tank or tank destroyer. Um, it's a nice glossy paper. Uh, if you're looking for English. You've got your, um, your steps, uh, uh, icons, so which means which. So you'd be starting off on the bottom of the uh, bathtub hole, putting on the uh, suspension arms. And the uh, <coughs> idler wheels, and then you're putting on the uh, gearbox s sections and leaf springs. And then you've got your road wheels, dry sprockets and idler wheel. Um, me, I'll probably leave them to the towards the end. And then you've got a little bit of fender and some tools. Again, I'll leave the tools to last. You do have link on link tracks, which is a nice touch. Instead of the uh, crappy rubber tracks. You're working on the back of the tank, spare tracks and escape hatch by the looks of things. And some tow hooks. And then you're working on what looks like the top of the tank, which has some of the grills, spare tracks again, some patches open or closed, you can do them. Pretty simple. Working on the upper section inside, you do have a little bit of detail, some couplers. And then you're working on the outside again. Exhaust system, a little bit of follow actually has got to be wrapped around the shield, the heat shield, tow rope going on, uh, some more tools, what looks like more spare track again, the jack, side skirts, a toolbox, then you've got your gun, gun mantlet and gun. Goes on, on the front of the, the uh, tank. Machine guns going on with, the sh with extra shielding. And then you get two crew figures down the bottom, which is probably uh, commander and driver or operator or some sort. One of them is going to be commander for sure. Sprue map, all you get in the kit. Normally you get down the front page, but FX are done there at the back. And then you get your two colour call outs. Your typical German yellow, brown and green, which I like. Um, I'm not too fond of the grey version. Um, this is... Um, Summer 1944, but I can't pronounce the rest of that. But you guys can read that. Um, and then this one is, looks like the same division, 
about 44 to 45. Again, it's got the same kind of camouflage pattern, similar with the two colours. So, um, I'm not sure which one I do. This one has got a little bit too much green for my liking. But I'll probably do the one at the bottom. So first bag. So we have two sprues identical of wheels and leaf springs and suspension sections. Like I say, this is originally Academy kit done by Airfix. I've done the Academy kit before, so it went together pretty well. It's pretty good. The wheels are one piece molded. So you're gonna have to bear a mask off the tire section. Here's the uh, suspension parts, leaf springs. Uh, that could be the drive sprocket. And I think that's the idle wheel, if I'm not mistaken. Small detail parts, the suspension arms, this is the uh, idler wheels again. This section contains the upper and lower hole. Nice detail on there. You can again, you can tell it's not um, airfix because they don't do those in this color. They do those in um, grey usually. Um, nice upper detail rivets. Nice thick weld seams down the bottom. Quite a tiny tank or small tank. In this bag we have the gun mantlet, the back of the tank you get two options so pay attention in instructions, I don't think one of them is used anyway. You've got your side skirts, um, some hatches, more hatches, exhaust system, top part of the tank, you can say gun mantlet again and this goes on here. They have two link on link tracks, identical again, nicely molded. Ah, excuse me. Um, so these go together pretty well. So you can get the natural um, curve and stuff, stuff in it. A little bit of follow edge for the grills, for the exhaust system, and engine deck section. And this bag contains detail parts and crew figures. And to my understanding, most of the Airfix tanks that are being released are originally done by Academy, so um, a little bit of string for your tow um, cable. Um, I wish I'd do that in black, not the white. But never mind. We have the legs of the crew figure, the body, the head, the arms. Not too bad. I've seen a little bit better. Um, we have side fenders, top fenders, jack, tools. Here's your main gun. Why have you got three? Got three guns and they are slide molded, which is a nice touch, actually. But um, again, I need to look in instructions why there's three, unless they're doing different variants at a later date. Um, that's probably why. So you probably can do the later or whatever other version out of this straight away, but um, you just have to find different de decal markings for it. 
uh, these are the transmission case bits more detailed parts toolboxes fuel tank I believe they are so like I say not an awful lot should be goes together pretty well as I say I've done the Academy kit before which this is which is this is taken from um, it should be alright basic decals just the German crosses and serial numbers um, and the two Signia badges again it's taken from the uh, same squadron but just two different locations so there you go guys it's the uh, Airfixes 135 scale Jag Panther 38 ton that's our early version. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you later.